Good evening. Today I wanted to have a look at Next Step, an old operating system I never had the chance to enjoy. I do not own a Next Step computer, so I will need to run OpenStep, which is a later version of Next Step for the Intel platform. Let's have some fun together and have a look at that. And I will also give a brief, very brief history about Next Step. This is how it looks. It looks very nice for an old operating system, I think. I, I think it's good that I kept a lot of it and made it into macOS. I think uh, it looks very neat and tidy. I, I like it a lot. Even though Next Step is based on the Mac kernel and is uh, running a Unix derived BSD system, it is not uh, the most secure operating system compared to modern Unixes. If we look here, we are not running as root, we are running as a user called me. But if we write cat and etc group, we don't have tab completion here like we do in modern Unixes. We see that me is a member of wheel. This is by no means like in modern BSDs where you use wheel to run sudo. As you can see, if I write su, it doesn't ask for a password, but I log directly into the shell as root. So not much security on this old operating system. Like most operating system for uh, workstations from this era. But let's now have a look at the history of Next Step. I know this history has been told to death, so I will keep it very brief. But Next Step was an operating system developed by a company called Next founded by Steve Jobs in 1985. It was designed to be a cutting edge operating system, featuring advanced graphic, networking capabilities, and most important, object-oriented programming. It was ahead of its time, but struggled to gain adoption due to its high cost and limited hardware compatibility. But in my opinion, it still holds up as some of the most beautiful computers ever made. In 1996, Apple acquired Next, bringing Steve Jobs back into the company he founded, with Next Step as its foundation. Apple began working on a new operating system called Mac OS X, which later became Mac OS. Mac OS X, or as some call it, Mac OS X, combined the simplicity and elegance of the Macintosh interface with the power and stability of Next Step. So that's the short story of Next Step. Let's look at some software. If you are running macOS today, you might recognize the name of this uh, software, Text Edit. And if we look here in the info panel, we can do some compare. You see the copyright, it's 1995. And if we look here on the Apple version of TextEdit, you can see the copyright starts at the same year. Let's look at some software. This is an application called Sound App, and it seems to be a sample player of some kind. Next App has a quite unique way to handle menus. They float on the desktop uh, rather than being on the top of the desktop, like it is on modern Mac OS. I do lack some media here to show everything. I don't have any pictures or samples or anything, so I won't be able to show everything. But we can always show how fast or how slow it renders a Mandelbrot. Not too shabby on a 90 megahertz Pentium. It does come with an uh, application called Draw Up, which is, which is a vector painting program. And we can make some stunning art with it, as you see here. Oh wow, just beautiful. 
next step do comes with a chess playing application and if we have a look at the info we can see that it's based around GNU chess just like it is today Even though I never used Next Step myself, it is a nostalgic trip this, as I used to use Window Maker in my early days as a Linux user, somewhere around 1997 or so, thing like that. Even on old operating systems like this, I'm unable to beat a computer in chess. I know the rules, but I truly suck at it. It also has a CD player. Too bad I don't have a CD room so I can't show how it works. But I guess it plays music. A lot of the old operating systems I test has some kind of Arkanoid clone. And uh, yes, next step is no exception. This was very hard to play. The mouse is super sensitive. It probably works better with an older mouse, this one. But it, it's just your typical uh, Arkanoid clone. Nothing too fancy. It also comes with a game of uh, pool. No need to go to the bar. Here is a little gem for us Amiga lovers. Do you recognize this? I sure do. I hope you think that was fun. I sure did. I enjoy visiting old operating system and next step is one of the very important one. As you can see it also have a nudge to our beloved Amiga. Have a wonderful evening. Cheers.